happens at the same time. Elisa Becerra joins us live from Cameron Park with a preview of the event. Hey, girl. Yeah, that's right. I've been staring at this Viper here thinking, yeah, I think I could look good in that. But uh, they look great in their own car. This is a great event. It's called Cops and Rodders, obviously hot rods, but you've got so much more here. What a variety. Joining us now is Ian Hoey. Tell us, well, you were CHP. Tell us about uh, Hoey, rather. Tell us what <laughs> Not Hoey, Hoey. Okay. Hoey is a whole different word. Tell us about this event. Sure. Uh, so this is the third year that we're hosting it. This is the Cameron Park Air Park. We encourage you to come out. It's a free event for spectators. Uh, there is a $5 request for donation for parking, but not mandatory, okay? We have a lot going on. We have law enforcement agencies. All of our CHP gear will be out here, our aircraft. Um, we have Nevada Highway Patrol. We have uh, the FBI is out here, Eldorado County Sheriff. Uh, in addition to the cars, there are airplanes. We're going to have flybys. It's a great event. We have a kid zone sponsored by the Eldorado County Office of Education with all kinds of games and prizes. It, it'll be great for us. Well, and I laugh about the kid zone because you be, if you love cars, this is the place. You become a kid looking at this. I was saying jokingly that this looks like my high school parking lot. Um, but I think, again, some of us wish we had had these cars back then. Right. All of them have their stories, their lineage. I'm going to run over here I found a Mustang one near dear my heart uh, let's talk to the owner here about this beautiful car before you start it because when it starts we won't be able to hear it. tell us first of all your name about this car my name is Mike Solis it's I have a 1967 Mustang it's got a 351 Cleveland in it and it's a drag car and, you race it. and I yeah. race it yes yeah we uh, we try to go out five or six times a year to different tracks we travel Vegas Washington different places to uh, to enjoy it. Yeah, so. people come up obviously and want to know, like, oh my God, let me see under the engine. This is this is what a gearhead loves. If you love American Muscle, exactly. Um, the the car, like I said, has been in my family since 1969. It used to be my dad's daily driver. It's wow. went through a uh, few teenage boys through. Uh, and it survived. And it survived. <laughs> and so we enjoy taking it out, showing it, and racing it. And we What's really. What's the great thing about being at an event like this? Oh, it's just uh, getting to talk to people, all the nice cars. Everybody has something, a uh, very nice car, quality car. It's, like I said, it's nice to talk to people. So and, any car out here that you've seen so far that you're like, oh. Uh, Mustangs have always been my dream, but uh, I, I love the Tri-5 Chevys. Like, you know, I'm sure everybody does. Yeah. So that's really my passion is Mustangs, but I like all the older Chevys. As well. So do I. I. I love to see these guys out and, and in just such beautiful, pristine condition. I'm going to have you go ahead and start this engine. I'm going to back away, but this is what American Muscle is all about. Okay, go ahead. Let her rev. You guys, this is crazy. It will start. I saw it. <laughs> this is what happens with television, right? There it goes. There it goes. You got to love live TV. I know, you gotta talk I to it. To show you that. We'll leave it, we'll let you go with that. Thanks so much. Yeah. We were worried there for